So if you're a beginner that wants to start dropshipping and you don't have that much money, there's methods that you can use where you don't need to break the bank. And I wanna walk you through those methods in today's video. Now, one of the first steps that you're going to need to do is click the link in my description down below and access this free AI store builder. The reason why I recommend using it is because not only is it gonna be able to get your dropshipping website built in a matter of minutes, but it's also going to load your store with winning products. Now, I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps that you need to know when it comes to using it once you've clicked the link in my description all you need to do is click on build my free store on this page what you need to do is enter your full name email address and password so i'm just going to quickly do that now just like that and then click on next on this page it's now going to ask you to pick a niche now a niche for those of you that are completely new to the world of dropshipping is the category in which your products are gonna come from. And it's also going to determine the way in which you're going to design and brand your store. The reason why this AI store builder wants to know what niche you want your store to be centered around is because it's going to load the store with winning products from that particular category. So you've got the option of either fashion and apparel, pets, electronics and gadgets, home and garden, sport and fitness. So my recommendation to any beginner out there is to select a niche that you're passionate about and you've got some basic knowledge in as well because this is gonna help you when it comes to marketing the product. So in this example, I'm going to select home and garden and then I'm gonna click on done. Once you get to this page, it's now gonna ask you to select two out of these six images and it's gonna place these images somewhere on your website. So in this example, I'm just going to select this one as well as this one over here and then click on done. What you now need to do is click on access Shopify. Now, for those of you that are completely new to the world of dropshipping again, Shopify is the platform in which your dropshipping store is going to be built on. I'm sure by now most of you have heard of it, but for those of you that haven't, Shopify is the biggest website building platform out there and they've made it really easy for people that are looking to start a dropshipping store because there's so many different features and so many different ways in which you can use it to your benefit. So once you get to this page over here, all you need to do is now enter your email address. So I'm just gonna do that right now and then click on start trial. Once you get to this page over here, you can answer the questions if you want, you don't have to. So what you can do is click on skip all. On this page, it's gonna ask you where is your business located? So select whichever country your documents are registered and then click on next. Then you've got the option to create your Shopify account with either your email address, Apple ID, Facebook, or Gmail, I'm just gonna select email in this case. Okay, perfect. So the Shopify store has now been created and this is where you're gonna do a lot of the back end stuff. But before I continue on this page, you need to go back to the AI store builder. And once you have created your account, you need to click on done. Then what you need to do is head back over to your Shopify account and copy the URL that you're gonna find on this page over here. Come back over to the AI store builder, paste it in there just like this, and then click on save. Now what you're going to need to do is activate your Shopify discount. So when you first create your Shopify account, you're gonna notice that you can use it for three days, but what you wanna do is extend that to 30 days. This is gonna give you a lot more flexibility when it comes to you, you know, building out your store and generating sales. So what you need to do is click on select a plan over here. It's then gonna give you these four different options, either basic, Shopify, advanced, and plus. 99% of you are going to need the basic plan. So just click on this option. And the 30 day trial with Shopify is only going to cost $1. So all you need to do is insert your name, your card details in this section over here. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, perfect. So the subscription has been successful. You just need to insert your business address over here. It could be your home address and just click on confirm. Once you've done all of that, just head back over to the AI store builder and then click on done. Now what you wanna do is click on install app. Click on install once again. Now click on customize my store and it should do the final touches to the store as well as add all of the different winning products. But for all of the different winning products to be loaded correctly as well as connected to the suppliers, what you need to do is come down on this page over here and then click on register to AutoDS. You're gonna be able to use AutoDS for free for 30 days. And again, it's gonna be useful when it comes to loading it with winning products as well as connecting it to the suppliers and also automatically shipping out all of your orders. 
So I've already got an AutoDS account as you can see. You don't need to do anything once you've created your account because the product should have already been connected. But if you did want to add any more products, you're going to be able to easily do that. But I'm going to touch on that a little bit later on. So if I just go back over to the AI Store Builder, once you've connected your AutoDS account, what you need to do is click on Done. Now on this next stage over here, you're going to be able to register for TikTok credits. So if you did want to run TikTok ads and you wanted to double the amount of credits that you're going to be able to get, this promotion may not be around for long, so you can definitely take advantage of that. Just simply click on Get Free Ad Credits and then click on done. Now the store should be built, but what you need to do for your store to be active, for you to be able to access it, you need to click on access Shopify over here, then tick this box and then click on save. Come back over here, click on done. And just like that, your store is now live and you're gonna be able to access it by clicking on this button. Right here, as you can see, this is the Shopify dropshipping store that has now been built. As you can see, everything has been optimized. Everything has been structured in the right way. All of the different products have already been connected to the site already. And all of the pages have also been complete as well. Now there is gonna be some changes that you need to make to all of these different pages. If I just click on About Us, everything has already been formatted. All you're going to need to do is just go in there and update the text. Same thing goes with all of these different shipping policies, return policies. You just wanna go in there and make sure that you insert your actual information. All of this can be done on the back end of your Shopify store. Any changes that you wanna make, you just need to come over here to Theme and then click on customize and from here you've now got the option to update the color scheme you know update the logo update anything that you want to really there's going to be some other changes that you need to make as well that you need to be aware of when you click on settings over here it's going to take you to this page where there's going to be multiple different things that you're going to need to do for example you're going to need to set up your Shopify payments. If you're based in the UK, US, over here you're gonna see Shopify payments and it's going to let you apply for it and that's the way that you're going to receive money through Stripe. I'm based in the UAE, that's the reason why I can't see it over here. You're also going to need to register for a PayPal account and connect it to your Shopify store as well. One other key thing that you need to do is click on domains and use a custom domain for the brand that you're building. You can continue using the myshopify.com domain if you want to as well, I wouldn't recommend it. I would say that you just get a custom domain. It's not gonna cost that much, maybe no more than $13, $15. And just generally, you just wanna click through every single one of these different options and make sure that everything has been set accurately. Now, if you wanted me to make a detailed video when it comes to everything you need to be aware of on the back end of Shopify, then put in the comments down below, do the Shopify back end video and I'll get onto that ASAP. But when it comes to loading more products onto your store, what you need to do is go back over to your AutoDS account. Once you're in here, you can now select the category in which you're going to be selling products. So in this case, it's going to be home and garden. And you've got the option to filter it in terms of products that are going to come with fast shipping, the best selling products as well. And then from here, all I now need to do is click on import draft, just like this. Make sure that I select the correct Shopify store, click on next. The product should now get loaded into my drafts. And from here, I'm gonna be able to, of course, update the title, update the description, you know, remove anything I don't want to be there. If I wanna optimize the description and title using AI, I'm gonna be able to do that directly from AutoDS. I would recommend that you do that. Just click on optimize description just like this then click on title and description. Under this section where it says choose a tone of the title, just click on make it sound more sellable. Same thing for the description and then click on AI write. Once you've updated the title and description, you can look at the different variants in terms of the colors, the sizes, remove any one that you don't want, keep whichever one that you do want. Same thing goes with the images as well. Bear in mind that all of this information is getting pulled directly from the supplier's website. In this case, the supplier is AliExpress. You can see it right there. Once you've gone through everything and you're happy, 
All you now need to do is click on save and import. And within a few minutes, it should be completed as you can see under status over here. And if you wanted to see the item in your store, just click on this link. And there you go. The product is now available on my site, ready for people to buy. Now bear in mind, because I'm currently in Dubai right now, that's the reason why it's showing it to me in this currency. But if I change my IP to the United States, UK, then it will update the currency accordingly for the customer. Now, one of the biggest questions that so many beginners have when it comes to starting this particular side hustle is, Sam, I've got my store built and I've got the products loaded to it, but how exactly am I going to get potential customers on my site for them to buy it in the first place? Now, of course, the most optimal way is for you to use paid ads. Ideally, you wanna use TikTok ads or Google shopping ads. But since this video is for those of you that don't really have a big budget when it comes to getting started, the way in which you can get potential customers onto your website is either by using the following methods. You can post blog articles on your Shopify store and get your website ranked on Google. What you're going to need to do to make that happen is connect your website to your Google Search Console account. This is Google's way of knowing that your website actually exists. And then when it comes to writing articles, what you need to do is just head back over to your store and click on online store over here then click on blog post. From here, you're now gonna be able to publish blog articles on your Shopify website that relate to the products that you're selling. I'm not saying that this is going to be an overnight thing and as soon as you publish your first blog article, you're gonna to start to get a bunch of traffic. But after 10 articles, 50 articles, 100 different articles, that's when you're gonna to start to see momentum building up and that's a completely free way for you to generate traffic. And another way that you can get free traffic onto your website is by repurposing short form videos on platforms like TikTok and Instagram. So I would advise you to build some sort of a theme page in relation to your niche. And all you need to do is find trending videos from within that niche, publish it on your platform, again, TikTok or Instagram. And that's another way that you can build up awareness for your brand. Another key tip is that whatever method that you use when it comes to getting free traffic on your Shopify dropshipping store is that you wanna make sure that you're collecting emails in the process. Collecting emails is one of the best things that you can do when it comes to you starting off with a dropshipping store because all of the traffic that you're sending to your site may not buy straight away. So if you're able to collect people's email address in a strategic way and you're also able to do it without spending any money, then this is gonna be a win-win situation when it comes to you being able to turn that person into a paying customer down the line. And there's an entire process that goes into generating free traffic on your Shopify dropshipping store. I recently made a full video breaking everything down. So if you wanted to watch that video, click the link over there, check that out straight after this because it's already helped out so many people. And if you also wanted to enroll in a completely free course, where in this course, I'm gonna be able to break down a lot more details that goes into building up a dropshipping store as a complete beginner. I didn't really have a lot of time to go through the fine details in today's video. So if you wanted to enroll in that completely free course, you're gonna be able to do that by clicking the top link in the description. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you on the next YouTube video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.